The last roll of the dice actually was the WWF collection, the World Wrestling Federation it was then. Well, to be honest with you, WWF, nobody had heard of it. Hulk Hogan, Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Who the hell is Hacksaw Jim Duggan? Are you mad? Everybody who we talked to said wrestling, that died with Kent Walton and Kendo Nagasaki and Big Daddy. That's ancient history. What we discovered was that uh, World Wrestling Federation was incredibly popular with kids. I saw Hulk Hogan uh, became mesmerised by the size and the sheer strength and power of this guy, um, and I just became obsessed from wrestling. As a child, I thought it was real. Back then, you could do a pile driver, drop someone on the head, and it looks fantastic. We were of that age where we were probably watching a lot of cartoons, so these were real cartoons. The only way you could find out about a lot of these things was through word of mouth. It was on Sky TV. Very few people had a Sky uh, TV box in their home, very few people. So I'd picked up that my eldest, he, he was videoing it and taking the video to school so, so the other kids could see it. I used to record all the wrestling shows on a weekly basis and then I, what I did was I made a little subscription business at school. I, I would charge a standalone fee of five pounds for the pay-per-view and it got to the stage where I, I was coming home with so much money my dad said where are you getting all this money from and I explained to him what I was doing and he was, he was actually quite impressed. I knew the guy that owned the rights and so we, we chatted and I, I said I'll buy them. He, he was he was shocked frankly because nobody was buying rights for the WWF. They helped us tremendously by making a TV commercial for us. Put him in his place Macho King, put him in his place! Oh, yeah! The WWF Superstar Sticker Collection has hundreds of colour stickers and this super album. It may be the only way the Macho King could stick it to the ultimate warrior. Dig it! WWF Superstar Stickers at your news agent now. As we got closer and closer to the launch, I can't tell you the excitement that was building. It was just incredible. It was launched on a Thursday and on a Friday, we were checking retail sale. This is when the car phones come in really handy. The first person to phone me was Peter Dunk. So the news agent was empty, just the lady behind the counter. And as soon as she realised I was from the company that produced these stickers, she said, oh, have you got any stock in your car? The rest of the team were all phoning in with the same sort of response. I've just been into a news agent and they got the stock yesterday and it's sold out. A whole box has gone, 100 packets. It's incredible. And we, we knew immediately that we got something really special, really special. I mean, it, it, it was staggering. And this is phenomenal. Hulk Hogan obviously being number one, that was the one that we'd always try to, try to get. And I, I remember that being the hardest one. And what we'd also done with this sticker album was offer for sale on the back page some other World Wrestling Federation merchandise. And you couldn't really get this stuff in the UK at the time. Postman arrived with sacks of mail this, this high, full of letters. He said, what on earth are you people doing here? I said, well, we're... he said, I've got a van load of this stuff. He said, I've got about 20 or 30 sacks in the van. The volume of orders, it worried us because we didn't know whether we'd be able to cope with it. All the family members, any, anybody we could, we could drag off the streets were coming in packing jiffy bags with T-shirts and videos well into the night. And on that first day, we took, I think it was £80,000 in mail order sales. And actually, I think it was that cash that got us through the really difficult period. I think, I think without that, we, 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 we probably would have not survived. And so the World Wrestling Federation rescued us from that short-term cash flow problem. It was a huge success for us anyway.